What's up, Mike? Hey, everybody. Uh, Mike here. And just uh, going over some stuff with my uh, uh, 3D printer that I recently purchased. Uh, this is the original Prusa i3 Mark III. Um, recently put it together, but apparently I forgot to put in the Z-axis um, dust junk caps, they're called. Uh, I did go online just to double check to make sure that they're needed, and a couple people said, yeah, make sure you put them on there, because uh, down in below where the Z-axis are, uh, dust and stuff can get in there, and it just preserves the motor and makes your printer last longer. So what I need to do is uh, take off the X axis very carefully, try to put these guys on real quick, and put the X axis back down. So I'm just going to take the filament uh, off and the filament spool holder. A uh, little side tip if you want to be able to just move the Z axis up and down real quickly, um, you just press and hold down. The, the center button and it comes up Z and you just spin it left or right and that's it. So what I'm going to want to do is just hit the restart button, power it off after a little quick self test, unplug it, that's key there, make sure I unplug it. So now these little caps should just pop right off. What we're going to do is uh, twist the Z-axis up and off, uh, leaving the, the rods there. Nope, not able to do that. I actually have to drop the motor, it looks like, because the carriage... Uh, let me see. Let's give it a try. Nope, the, the part in the back is pinching. So we're not going to be able to do it that way. Uh, we'll still leave it up there, but we're going to have to drop the motors, which I didn't want to do, but that looks like uh, how we have to do this. So what I'll do is just one motor at a time. There's these little nubs on the inside, and they do not want to be cooperating. There it goes. This would have been a lot easier if I did it correctly the first time. And I already looked at the manual and said uh, what you want to do is get it as uh, close as possible to the bottom. But so that the, the Z axis can still freely spin. So this should not move on its own. So just spinning it, just giving it a test. Yep, it's working. So now I'm going to reassemble this side. And it looks like the other side fell down. So that's now in, and we'll just re-put the screws back on. I love using these little uh, hex drill bits. Um, they're great for, you know, finger adjustments. Um, so the, you know, the hex key sometimes you gotta get in there and you got the little thing sticks out, twist. Now to tighten it, I will use the, the hex key, but this little, the drill bit makes it so much easier. These guys with twists. This one needed a little bit more. That needs about a half a turn. We can do one more. There we go, nice and firm, but not too tight. Uh, you don't want to crank down on the screws because you could break the plastic. And now we just need to reattach um, the 
cap, and it's this one. The other one, and then we go back. Let's go down with the z-axis a little bit. And for this, I'm using the drill because of the makes doing this so much easier. Same thing. Get it, get it about 90% of the way, and I'll go in there just with the a hex bit. That's nice and tight. All right, so that's that side. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side, and I'll come back in just a minute. of time lapse. You probably just watched me put the other side back together and now it's just that time to power it back on. Uh, do uh, the calibration again because anytime you like move something or redo something you always want to recalibrate to make sure you get the the best quality print. Power back, power plug back on. Flipping the switch. And I'm just running uh, calibration on Z-axis. And of course it's doing its uh, nine point check. And that's basically about it. I'll just do a, a quick test print of like Batman or something like that. It's like one of the fast, easy things to print with, that comes on the SD card or the Prusa logo itself. Um, just to make sure everything's working. And that's it. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, hey, please feel free to leave them down below and I'll get, uh, get back to you about them. All right. Thank you very much. Take care and see you next time.